All right, give me just about three minutes and we will get started. I already see some people are logging in. What's up, Marty? Hello, Mary. Did I spell that right? All right. All right. Let me just fix my camera just a tad. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Give me a couple more minutes and we will get started. All right, let me check Facebook, see if I'm running. And I am running. All right, we are almost at the seven o'clock hour. All right, got the black outfit on today. Hopefully my clothing consultant is all right with supporting the logo. All right, before we get started, let me do a sound check. Okay, Ooh, that's always rough to do. All right, about 57 seconds. Trying something a little different. Just kidding. All right. Who else is on? Thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. All right. About 36 seconds to go. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Wednesday today. I know uh, the weather out here is much better. I didn't have to drive too far today, so I was pretty excited about it. All right, it is about that time, right around seven o'clock. Ding, ding, ding. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I know everybody here in California is probably ready to eat dinner, and those of you in the Mountain states or East Coast are probably ready for bed. At least I know my clothing consultant. This is probably nap time, right? I'm just kidding. All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Shalom. Welcome, Mouth Pagers and Yom Revi E. Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone had a great day today. And if not, and that's why we're here. Just kidding. Well, I'm hoping that's why you're here anyway, just to at least look at my mug, you know, and get motivated, right? I'm Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco. Mouthpage is an online spiritual community. We are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time is our weeknight motivations. And 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time for our Friday night Shabbat service. So please check out our service either on Facebook or on our website, which is www.mouthpage.com. And for our Facebook page, it is Mouthpage Spiritual Community. And dun, 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 we also have a YouTube channel now. And I have been working diligently on getting that up and running. So we are all set. So check out our Mouthpage Spiritual Community channel on YouTube. I'm pretty excited about it. So I think it's pretty cool. So check it out and check out our website as well. So for those of you who are new to our community, our weeknight motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, week, and to get ready for the week ahead, which is only two more days until the weekend. Pate! Just kidding. So we have been going live now for over... Five weeks. And yesterday, 
I always kind of give you a tally where we're at just to show you that we are growing and we are really, really having some fun and everybody is spreading the love and the joy and the kindness around the world. We're at 1,273 mouth pagers following us and liking us on mouth page as of yesterday. But today, drum roll, we were at 1,345. So thank you so much for everyone who is liking us and watching our uh, motivations and our services. I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you find our community. We're a place where you can grow spiritually. So please check out our website and our Facebook page. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbor. Check us out. Hopefully they have fun as much as I do, right? Please continue to help us grow our mouth page community and your mouth page community worldwide. This is yours too. So please help us grow. The more people we can connect with, the more we can help grow spiritually. So every night I post Mouth of the Days. It's our version of Word of the Days. It's got my cute little apple with the glasses on it, so check it out. Hopefully you guys find it entertaining. And if you happen to miss any of our services, we have been we have them on our Facebook page, under the videos, or under our website, or our YouTube channel now. So check out, you got three places to check out our services, and you can or you can watch them as many times as you want. So feel free, I really appreciate it. So this week we have been doing the Ten Commandments, or as I call it, the Ten, part one through ten, right? So for the next ten days, minus the Fridays, we are going to be doing the Ten Commandments. So last night we did the Second Commandments. I hope you found that entertaining and found it very motivating and helpful. But tonight we are going to do number three. So those of you who might have missed Mondays and Tuesdays, I will give you a refresher of the Ten Commandments according to Exodus 21 through 22. So I'll go ahead and give you the Ten Commandments one more time before we go over number three. So I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me, not worship any false gods, false idols, not use the Lord's name in vain, which is number three. Remember Sabbath day to be holy, honor thy mother, thy father, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not covet. So today is number three. Dun, 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 right? The Ten Commandments is thou shalt not use the Lord's name in vain. Oh, no, you didn't. Use the Lord's name in vain, right? Wow, that's got to be pretty bad because it's ranked number three. Top three out of all the Ten Commandments. Cursing at God is ranked number three. So it's got to be up there. There's a reason why God named it number three and not number ten. Or according to us Jews, 613 commandments is what we have. But the top ten, this is ranks number three. So God, like you and me, we don't like to be cursed at. Either does God. God does not like to be cursed at. So God knows we're human, but there is a reason why he ranked this so high. So God takes offense to this. He takes offense when you use his name in vain. Now I know we get mad at God a lot of times. I know I do. God and I talk all the time. We're like a married couple, him and I. We're always, we're always going at it, right? But, of course, he always puts me in my place, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what else to say. But you, he realizes, God realizes we're human. God really does. But he also, God doesn't want us to use his name in vain. And with that said, as years and thousands and thousands of years that this was passed on, in present day, God also doesn't want us to, to curse at one another. Now, that's really hard to do sometimes, especially when you're just trying to get someone's attention or we get really angry about something. But God doesn't want us to get mad at each other either. So, once again, how do I make this a motivation topic? How do I get people motivated off of this? If it's ranked so high, it's got to be... One of those things are, how can you make this motivating? So once again, I came into my 
drawing board and I'm going to break it down to believe. The reason why I say that is because you have to believe that even with all the frustration that you have throughout the day or things that happen to your friends or family member or yourself or loved ones or and you what's the first thing we always say God why did you put me through this why did you give my loved one a sickness or why did you make why did I break my leg or why whatever whatever the reason we're upset and God is to blame right so we have to believe in my opinion, believe is, is what we're going to talk about today. Why? Because we have to believe that no matter what, stay faithful, stay true, don't get frustrated, which is easier said than done, but don't get frustrated and believe that God will get you through it. So I will break down believe. And this is how, this is our motivating number three. So believe, be, be willing to believe in God even though you can't see God. S believing is seeing, right? I'm, I'm using this in, in conjunction with the number three because I feel that we take our, the Lord's name in vain so much because we don't believe that he's going to get us out, that God's going get to get us out of this. So believe, be willing to believe in God even though you can't see God. Even E, the other uh, E, even when you have hit rock bottom in your life, things have really, really come tumbling down. God will raise you to the top. God will get you back up. E, believe. E, God will get you back up. Even when you have hit rock bottom. L, lift yourself and others' spirits and motivations up. Sometimes it's your friends and loved ones who really, really could use your help not just yourself. Help them to not curse at God too. I, include forgiveness in your prayers. This is huge. God, I'm sorry that I cursed at you today. God, I'm sorry I was angry today. God, I'm sorry for I didn't signal today and somebody was mad at me. Always include forgiveness in your prayers as well. E, Evil will try to make you stumble. We curse at God because evil gave us the, the chicken wing, right? Bam! Evil nailed us. And now we're upset. Evil will try to make you stumble. Don't let that happen. Don't allow that to happen. Put your guards up. Put that blocker up so evil can't hit you. V. Victory comes in all sizes. Small victories, large victories, comes in all sizes. E, enter each day with faith that God will get you through anything. Get you through anything. I When I first started going live, man, I was like brrr, scared to death. I don't even know if I'm any good at it now, but you know, at this point, I just, I just do the best I can. But I know that God was going to get me through it. I entered each day that I knew that with God on my side, I want to get better and better and better. And I know that this is just the beginning. I'm even going to get even better more animated than this but i have faith so enter each day with faith that god will get you through it so i hope you like my take on number three tomorrow we'll do number four so before we end tonight's motivation i'd like to close with a little prayer some prayers and birthday wishes uh so my friend scott who just got out of the hospital so he's still recovering doing much better uh joanna who is in the hospital with cancer um still uh Getting better though, but continue to pray for her. Really, really, really uh, appreciate all the prayers. Uh, Mike, who just tore his ACL, so uh, definitely going to be uh, changing his life a little bit because you have to, you know, change everything when you get injured. So pray for a quick recovery and healing for for Mike. Uh, pray for Charla and uh, the things going with her with her illness. Uh, my wife, who is sick today, so I want to pray for a uh, quick and speedy recovery for her. Pray for peace in the world um, and pray for America. Um, we're, we just got a new president and we uh, want to pray that uh, we all get along with one another and that uh, pray for peace with one another in our, in our society and that we all get along. That's, that's huge. So birthday wishes today. Uh, happy birthday, John and Ray. 
So happy birthday. And I'd like to do uh, the Hini Matov, which is uh, Psalm 133. Hini Matov umanayam shevedekim gamiyakad. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity? Right here. That's huge. That's huge. Dwell together. Dwell together. Be together. I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Please check out our services every day on Facebook, Monday through Thursday and Friday for our Shabbat service. Please check out our website, www.mouthpage.com, our Facebook page, Mouthpage Spiritual Community, our new YouTube channel. Yay, I'm all excited. Our Mouthpage Spiritual Community YouTube channels. Check it out. I uh, sent out our cool commercial again last night. I'm going to do that once a week. It's pretty cool. It uh, has some pretty cool pictures, so please check it out. Tell me what you think. Don't forget, we are a nonprofit organization, so please feel to donate whenever you can and whatever you can. I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in any any type of just chatting with me or wanting to do any type of uh, weddings or anniversaries, we do it all. So I can do just about... Uh, you know, whatever you need me to do uh, for spiritually, if you need me to do weddings, anniversaries, just let me know. Check out our website, and it shows all the services that we do. So check out our services and give me an email. I really appreciate it. If you know anybody who can sing uh, Jewish music or just a great singer in general that we can do some spiritual music together for our Shabbat service, that'd be great. Let me know. So I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless. Laila Tov. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you all tomorrow. See you later. Whew, that was a scary smile.